everybody, this is here Brian Sings, and I just wanted to post this really quickly. This is going on both TikTok and YouTube, so I'll try to keep this brief, try to keep it quick. Um, I'll even let the screenshot speak for itself. But this is an incident that just happened. Um, but this is also an incident that a lot of com uh, people who are artists um, have been dealing with lately, whether it be with fursuits, digital art, or anything, um, where people are just insensitive and rude to the artist about things and this isn't about like people who aren't actually communicative with things this is more so when you try to be nice you try to be communicative and then they just and then the person who commissions you starts hounding you um and this is one of those incidences where this has happened um this involves my vr brother phoenix who you've possibly seen in my um furry fandom vr chat discussion video um, he was the first person I interviewed in that video, but case in point, this person named Raptor Runner uh, and their wife, Niefri, Nie Nie I don't know how you say it, I don't really care, but this person has essentially um, been very rude. They've both been rude, actually. Um, I, I'm going to call them Neo, is, is the wife of Raptor. They've been incredibly rude to Phoenix, and uh, Raptor was actually quite rude to myself when I confronted them because Phoenix was going through something, and I took it upon myself to contact the person and let them know what was going on out of my own free will. Um, I could have simply just told Phoenix to do it himself, but I know they're having a tough time, so I figured I'd just do it myself, you know, being a good person and just being nice, and I did tell that person that. But this dude has been incredibly rude to not only Phoenix, but also to myself when I told him. He simply just didn't seem to care. Um, in context, my VR brother, he, Phoenix, he's been going through a breakup that just happened quite literally yesterday as of this recording and posting. And this dude has just been incredibly insensitive to their problems up to this point. And granted, it's only been two months since this started. Um... And Phoenix was very forward about he shouldn't have taken the money and commission and, and started the commission um, when he did because it was around the holidays and it was getting busy. He decided to take some time off for himself and family and he was very forward about that with them, which I will show here as well so you guys see this. And they've just been not very nice about it. They've been very rude. Uh, Phoenix said he would get started roughly around January. It's literally only three days in, and they probably either started him messaging him the day, first day or yesterday. I'm not quite sure. And this dude even woke Phoenix up this morning by calling him, which obviously Phoenix didn't answer because he was literally groggy. But um, I told the dude, like, hey, look, you're being insensitive. You're kind of being a jerk. You, you need to, you, like, this isn't really cool of you to be doing this stuff. And he just, like, shouting, saying that it's unprofessional and whatnot. It's like, dude, this is somebody who's not really used to doing commission work. You're probably the first person who's commissioned them for a suit. It's $100, and they have your materials. They just haven't started it yet. And, they, and I'm sure they've communicated this with you. So... Yeah, um, I just told Phoenix, look, it's not worth it. I even told the dude I'm just going to tell him to just refund him and just block him because this is not worth the beha the trouble. The behavior is incredibly um, rude. It's just a huge red flag overall. It's it's just not worth it. it. It's not worth it. And I encourage artists out there, if somebody's being rude to you in this manner, don't waste your time with them. They're rude. They're mean. They're not going to care. The dude just simply just, just saying for Phoenix to just grow up. They're an adult, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, they literally broke up with somebody. It's not the end of the world that your shit's going to be pushed back a couple days or something. And this is over a partial fursuit, mind you, which it was a head and paws, I believe. Um, which it easily could take months, if not longer, depending on the artist. Um, I've waited literally four to five months I believe for a tale that I have and even I never acted this way with people I've commissioned uh, people from who've commissioned me have waited up to five months for a product because I got busy or things were happening constantly and I always profusely apologized and I even told this dude that and he's like ha, I would never commission you then and it's just like dude with how you're behaving I wouldn't want you to commission me 
And he threatened to make a beware, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a beware on him first before he can try anything with all the proof that we have, because he's going to try to twist the truth and not be very honest about it. So, case in point with this, I'm just going to say this now. Treat people how you, you would want to be treated, especially when it comes to things like breakups or uh, family problems or anything like that. Phoenix has been always very open about that they're not in the best situation mentally or physically. Um, they're basically disabled. It's not easy for them. And it's just insensitive that somebody would behave this way. And I know Phoenix well. He definitely would have gotten it done. He's done this type of stuff um, for others in terms of other stuff. And it's just ridiculous that somebody would behave this way over a $100 partial that they paid for, which Phoenix could easily charge more than that. But it was $100. So I told Phoenix, look, just get it. J just get the refund done for them and just say, fuck it. Just be done with it. It's not worth it. Pay them in increments if you have to. It's not worth it. And he said he's going to. It's basically been a one and done deal. He even told them, I'll pay you back when I can. It's said and done. But I don't want anybody else dealing with this person. It, it, I, I, was, I thought about it intensively. And I'm like, you know what? This, people need to know about this. And this is also kind of also a, a PSA, if, if you will, about treating artists with respect. Because this isn't the only time somebody's been treated this way over something. I'm sure a lot of artists can relate to being treated poorly over something. Especially like even in shorter periods of time, like a week or two. And this person gets impatient. It's like, we're human. We have our own lives outside of things. And you can't expect your um, commission to be done within a certain time frame, depending on what it is. If you're going to commission somebody and you need it within a specific time frame, do it months in advance if need be. Because I can guarantee you it may take that long if this person has a long queue or they're a very busy person. Uh, they want to do personal projects in between. That's their business. And I'm also going to encourage Phoenix to make a more thorough TOS because this is... I, I don't want him going through this again. This is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, make sure to make a TOS, by the way, if you're planning to make commissions for people and whatnot because it can help you avoid this issue and yeah, they can't really do anything about it. So again, please, please just... Be mindful of you, what you do and say to artists. I don't want people getting treated like this. And I sure as hell wouldn't take this behavior either. But I think it's enough rambling. Uh, the proof will speak for itself for the most part. Um, but yeah, stick up for artists, man. Treat them with respect. And they'll treat you just as kind, if not more. So thank you all so much for your patience. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it intensely. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's very much else to say. So, you guys have a wonderful new year. I know it's like day three in the new year, but I feel like I need to say it anyway. So, yeah. Y'all have a good one. Bye.